Hello and welcome to Blackwatch International. My name is Chriso and in this training video series we will be looking at all aspects of radio devices and communication. Proper communications are vital to the workings of our command structure and completing our operations successfully. Alpha, this is Bravo. While even slight miscommunications can have catastrophic events. Anybody copy on this net? For communication, both on local conversation and long-range communications, Blackwatch International uses the Advanced Combat Radio Environment Mod, or ACRE 2 for short. In this first video on radio, we will cover how Blackwatch uses ACRE 2. We will go over the basics to familiarize yourself with this extensive mod, its radio systems, and prepare you for first-time use. ACRE 2 is more than a radio simulator. It comes with an overhauled local communication system and a foreign language simulator. Compared to Vanilla Armor 3 and to other comms mods like TFAR, Aker 2's local comms are very clear and precise. It's easy to understand the people around you, even making it possible to pinpoint their exact location on hearing alone. I'm pushing east. Your set voice volume greatly affects your audibility. You can set your volume by holding default key tab and using the scroll wheel. Whispering requires standing really close, while shouting makes you able to make yourself heard at a distance of 150 plus meters. Hello, can you hear me from this distance? Your voice can be heard by the enemy, even AI. Be very aware of this. The AI does very much react to hearing you, other than in vanilla armor or for instance TFAR. When whispering, AI will only hear you when standing within meters of their presence. Hey there. When shouting, even at 150 plus meters, the enemy will surely seek you out and engage you. Hey there! The default setting should suffice for most situations. Set the gauge halfway for this volume. Next up is the foreign language simulator. An addition to Acre 2 called Babel. When this module is enabled, players from one faction might not be able to understand players from another faction, and vice versa. Hello, Hooves. <laughs> to alleviate this, a translator must be brought in that can understand and speak both languages. <laughs> to speak a different language, either as a translator or as a player that speaks multiple languages, you cycle through the languages with the set button, default, Windows Left. It is highly advised to rebind this button to a different one to avoid overlap with ACE. A suggestion would be control bracket left. Now for radio. Acre 2 provides a realistic simulation of radio communications. The functionalities of each device are very similar to the real life equivalents. If you are used to other types of comms mods, especially TFAR, the following differences may stand out. Distance but mostly terrain influences radio communications quality a lot. Can you still hear me? Bad copy. The shorter range radios can lose their signal at a couple of hundred meters. Valleys also make it harder to surpass with your radio signal and standing on a hill makes your signal reach an optimal range. Dialing in on separate channels, i.e. TFAR's additional channels, cannot be done using the same radio device. To dial in to different channels at the same time, you need a separate device for each channel. Finally, there are no frequencies to dial into. Instead, there are a large set of preset channels divided into groups. Let's go over the basics of Acre 2 radio use. Each device has a lot of functionalities. For this video, we will only cover the functionalities you need to communicate in the field. Acre 2 uses a default radio system. This means that the radio that is last used or most recently set as default is called the active radio. You can set your default radio by a customizable keybind. It is advised to unbind the default radio and not to use it because the active radio switches with every use of the secondary device. You can open your radio device by either using the ACE self interaction or the keybind control alt caps lock. You can reset this shortcut. A good suggestion would be binding it to control P. When you carry multiple radios, the keybind will open the current active radio. Before we go over the radio device, we will go over some basic controls. You can transmit on your active radio by pressing the default radio key caps lock. 
Uh, this is Bravo Actual standing by. Like before, this is a function better left skipped. It's advised to rebind your keys as follows. Bind your Alt Radio Key 1 to a key that you want to use for your primary communications. A good suggestion would be Caps Lock, replacing the old Active Radio. Bind your Alt Radio 2 key to a key that you want to use for secondary communications. A good suggestion would be Control plus Caps Lock. In this way, you'll always have the same button for the same type of radio. The radio device that is bound to Alt 1 or Alt 2 is subject to the sequence in which they are acquired. The Ace Self Interaction menu can be used to change which radio binds to which button. You can also drop a radio and pick it back up again, to designate it as a secondary device. When picking up a radio from a fallen leader, pay attention to the order of your radio devices. The Ace Self Interaction menu can also be used to switch the stereo settings for each separate radio and for the raising or lowering your headset. This last option is used when you want to temporarily lower the volume of your radios. You basically lift your headphones a bit. Bravo, this is Alpha. Bravo, Alpha. These A self interaction options can also be bound to key combinations. A good suggestion might be combining these with the control and arrow keys or numpad keys. Let's go over the radio devices and their different interfaces. First up is the ANPRC343. This simple radio device will be given to every squad member. Its effective range is between 400 and 850 meters. The interaction with this radio is very simple. When opened, you can change your volume with the volume knob. Changing channels is a bit different from other radio devices. The channels that the 343 can reach are divided by blocks. Each block has 16 channels. To switch your channel, you might have to change your block before changing your channel. Click on the handle to get access to the blocks, use the blue button to switch the block. After that, click the channel knob to select the right channel. Next up are the ANPRC 148, 152 and 117. These radio devices can be dialed in to certain channels like the 343, but these devices can actually communicate with each other while the 343 can by default not communicate with the others. Let's take a look at the ANPRC148 and the 152. These two devices sport the same range of about 4 to 6 kilometers. These devices are handed to squad leaders and upper echelon leaders. The differences between the 148 and the 152 are the advanced settings that can be changed. These settings do not have to be utilized for basic use. The 148 uses a channel group system. The channels that can be selected correspond with the channels on the 152 and the 117. On the top of your 148, you can change the volume and the current channel. To change the channel group, you have to click on the GR button and use the arrow buttons. The 152 doesn't use groups. To change channels on the 152, use the plus and minus buttons. If the interface does not display the channel you are on, click the zero button once or twice on the device. To change volume on the 152, use the buttons on the left side of the device. The ANPRC117 is the long range radio device, used by upper echelon leaders during the operations. The 117 can transmit over a range of about 20 kilometers and even reach the horizon in ideal situations. To change volume on the 117, use the plus and minus buttons to the left side. To change your channel, use the plus and minus buttons to the right side. If the display is not displaying your channel, use the zero button once or twice to change its layout. Vehicle crews don't require a radio device to communicate within the vehicle. Every crew position in a vehicle will be linked automatically to the vehicle intercom, requiring no push to talk system. Can you guys hear me? To transmit to other units and leaders, the vehicle commander will carry a separate radio device. As you can see, channels on the more advanced radios are designated with a descriptive name. Each required channel will come with such a description. On the 343, this is not the case. To know what channel your radio should be connected to, you should reference our comms card. However, when deployed, your radio should already be set to the correct channel according to the position you slotted in as. This still means you should always double check your channels and keybinds. To access your comms card, you can use the Ace Self Interaction menu. 
All the functionalities Acre 2 brings can be slightly intimidating. It's highly recommended to check out the key bindings that can be set at the possibilities of the Ace Elf interaction. During gameplay, the set shortcuts for Acre and all other mods can always be found on the map screen. Thank you for watching this video on the basics of Acre 2. Stay tuned for more training videos on radio communication. If this video was useful, be sure to give it a like. Subscribe for more Armor 3 content and check out our website for more information on Black Haunch International.